In this video, I will show you how to change autosave interval in WordPress post. But before I will proceed with the tutorial, please make sure to have a full backup copy of your WordPress site. And uh, once that's done, log in to your hosting account and go to the file manager or connect via FTP. Then um, go to the root directory where your WordPress is installed. And right, in the, uh, right here, you should look for wp-config.php file. So before we make any changes to this file, it's also a good idea just to have a backup copy. So I'll just go ahead and uh, copy it to my desktop uh, in case I need to revert back. Uh, now uh, we can go ahead and uh, make some edits here. So in this file, we're going to be adding um, this line of code, which I will also leave the link to in the video description. Uh, you can get it from uh, developers um, uh, resources on WordPress site. Now we're, we're going to be adding this code to uh, wp-config.php file. So let's go ahead and just copy it and paste it right here. Uh, look for this line. That's all. Stop adding happy publishing. You want to add it just above. So let's make some space. Paste it right here. And now uh, the autosave feature uh, will run in every 160 seconds. But um, for the purpose of this example, uh, we can uh, just set it to every five seconds just to show you what it looks like. But uh, in your case, you can change it to, uh, to whatever number you want, like every to run every 30 seconds, 45 seconds, 60 seconds, and so on. So let's set it to five seconds and let's uh, save it. Now let me go back to my WordPress dashboard and let's go to, let's refresh the page. And then uh, let's click on add new. So now at the moment I will start typing something, you'll notice um, the autosave feature will run every five seconds. This is a test post. So while I was typing, already saved like twice. Yeah, it's running uh, roughly every five seconds or so. So you can get the idea. Um, let me just leave the page. And uh, of course, uh, I wouldn't just set it five seconds. That's just only for example, but I would think around 45 seconds or so is more or less sufficient. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you found this tip useful. And for more WordPress tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.